Hey guys, it's Sam, and today I have a video for you that is a brush haul from BH Cosmetics. Now, if you want to see what type of brushes these are and how many you get and everything and the prices, make sure to keep on watching. Okay, so the first set I'm going to be showing you is the Sculpt and Blend 310 piece brush set. Now, this brush set I have had both these brush sets for I think over a little bit over two weeks and the reason why I have waited to do this video is to test these brushes out to make sure I really like them and to see what you know like what they're used for and what they work best for so like I said this first brush set is the sculpt and blend three 10 piece brush set and this is BH cosmetics they are vegan friendly or they're you know animal cruelty free and let's get started. So, I, okay, so I have actually used these. these. These are not washed. I did not want to wash them because, you know, it's too much work and I would not have time to do all of that and have them let them dry out for this video. So, the first brush I'm going to start out with out of the 10 is the... 138 and if we look on the back of the box the 138 is the small angled buffer brush this brush i have used to blend out my nose contour and to blend out my contour in between my under actually under my lip to make my lip look bigger on the bottom but this brush really is you know very soft like all these brushes and you can see probably the powder just flying up but these brushes, mm, I just love them. They are so good and so soft. And this is the 138 brush. Mm. Next I have the 139 brush. Now if you look on the box, this says the 139 is the Precision Flat Blending Brush. This one I don't really have a reason or use for right now. But it's also good for blending, you know, under the lip and stuff like that. Um... It's like, it's, you know, it's not really dense, um, but mm, it's compacted, it's soft, and I like it so far. I mean, even though I haven't used it for much, I like it so far. I think it would kind of be good to maybe, honestly don't know yet, but they're cute. The next brush I have is the 136 brush, and this brush is the contour definer brush. Now, I did try to use this for contouring, and I didn't really personally like it for contouring. Um, the reason why is because it has this indent, and I feel like it's just too big. I think it's way too big for contouring, um, you know, because I like more of a small, sharp line, and then I bronze. Honestly, I think this is good for blending out anything, like blending out your contour after you have applied it, maybe for a cream contour, instead of a beauty blender if you're more of a brush fan and not a beauty beauty blender fan. But other than that, it's super compacted. Maybe it would work good for foundation, you know. But I honestly have no use for it right yet. Um, I probably will start using it maybe for foundation because it's more bigger and it's really compacted and it's kind of got I don't know it's kind of got like a little slope to it maybe I can try it again for contouring but we will have to see in any of my makeup tutorials next I have the 135 brush now the 135 brush is the blending definer brush this I don't use for blending at all I use this for my foundation I will you know I'll dot my foundation on my face blend it in you know, to get it all over my face and to save, you know, product. And then I will go over it with the Beauty Blender to sheer out the cover. Not really sheer out the coverage, but take the streaks out or anything like that. And to make it look a lot more better. Now, it's super compacted. Right now, it's not because it's not washed. I, I'm sorry for that. It is, you know, dense. And I really think it's good for foundation. Um... Honestly, the shape and everything and the size is actually pretty good. Um, it's, you know, it was soft, but now it's caked in foundation. <laughs> and I like this brush for my foundation so much. And you cannot get these in singles, I do not think, off of the BH Cosmetics, like, website. But I really recommend this, you know, this set. 
it's very affordable. It was only $20 and you're getting your money's worth. Actually, you're getting more for what you're paying for because, you know, the quality is so amazing. And also, you know, it's synthetic. It's not goat hair and it is, you know, cruelty free. The next brush I have is the 134 brush. Now, this brush is the blush brush. Honestly, I don't think this should be used for blush. This is perfect for your contouring because it's that, you know, perfect size and it's just, mmm, it gets, you know, it really gets you that chiseled, mmm, love it. It just chisel out your cheeks. It is perfect. These brushes also do pick up a lot of product and I really like it for my contouring you know just do it on my cheeks and it works the best for contouring especially for my face shape and just my face in general the next brush i have is the 133 brush i believe this is yes this is the tapered face brush this brush is very good for wiping away that bake under your eye and also maybe applying banana powder under there and highlighting you know it's really good for wiping out that off that bake and getting into those corners and just whoa it's super fluffy, it's compacted, and mm, it's just perfect. I love it so much. Um, I will have to rewash this one because I tried to wash it with coconut oil and um, Dawn dish soap. Uh, big mistake. It made it really hard, but I did brush it out with just a little comb. Um, and it fluffed, it fluffed out, but it's just not as soft as it was, so I will have to do it with olive oil and dish soap, I believe that works so much better because it conditions it and maybe add some conditioner to it. But other than that, it's so good for wiping away your bake. Mm. The next brush is the 137 brush. Now, the 137 brush is the large angled buffer brush. I have not used this yet for really anything. It does have product on it. But other than that, I think I've used it for trying to blend out my contour, you know, just to get it blend out. Um, I honestly have not found a use for this yet. I'm pretty sure I will sometime soon, maybe, you know, doing face powder, packing that face powder on really good and making sure it sets your foundation or something like that. But other than that, it's, you know, it's super compacted and dense, but other than that, it's also really soft. Next brush is probably one of my favorite brushes out of this set besides the tapered face brush and the foundation brush. This brush is the 140 brush. It is the... <clears throat> the 140 brush is the highlight brush. Mm, it's so good for that nose highlight and that Cupid's bow highlight. Love it so much for highlighting. It's fluffy. It's just like the Morphe brush. I think it's the Morphe, Morphe 30 brush. I'm not sure, but mm, I have not owned any of the Morphe brushes because I just don't want them. I really love these ones right now. And it's super fluffy and it's so good. It's soft too. Love it. Recommend it. Get this set. The next brush is the 141 brush. I have not used this at all. This is the large shadow brush. I have not used it for my shadows or anything. But other than that, I will be hopefully soon. It's super soft. Compacted. And I think what it would be good for is maybe packing on the setting powder or like just a nude color to set your concealer or your primer or whatever you use to prime your eyelids. And last brush in this set is the 142 brush. This is the lip brush. I use this to apply my, um, like, what is it? My contour, <laughs> contour under the lip to make my lip look bigger on the bottom. Mm -hmm. It's super, I mean, super compacted and very, very, very dense. It's just, it's compacted and very dense for a lip brush. Um, I like it for applying my contour or like a bronzer under the lip to make my lip look bigger. And this will be, like I said, the last brush out of the set. I really love this set. Beautiful, very beautiful. It's got the white top and then it's just gold and black. Very beautiful. I just keep it in this little mug to hold them and keep them in order and stuff like that. Now, we're moving on to the big daddy. Woo! This is the BH Cosmetics 36-piece brush set. 
Now let's just take a moment and realize that this is bigger than my belly button up to my head. Ugh. And it has all your 36 brushes. Beautiful casing, leather casing. This is vegan, just like all the other brushes. And that's also in the set. I did put them all back in here just to show you what it looked like. And mm, I love this set because you can also put other brushes in it. I really like it. Um, so let's get started on some of the brushes. Now I'm not going to go all like all into detail on all these brushes. I will explain some of my favorite ones and some of them I'm not going to be doing all of them. But let's get started. So the first one that we have is the big fan brush. Now this brush for highlighting, let's just take a moment. It applies your highlighter so good. You barely even have to touch the pan for any product to get on it. It is so good. Super soft, dense, not really dense, but compacted. It is so amazing. Love it. Mmm. This next brush, I don't know what it's called. These don't not these these do not have names um, or numbers on them. The names are on the website if you want to check them out. But this brush, I'm just gonna call an angled face brush. This brush I love to use also for contouring and bronzing. Mm, just love this for bronzing and contouring. Apply it onto the cheekbones. Mm. Your face looks amazing after it. It makes it look so natural and so beautiful. It picks up so much product. You barely have to touch the pan. It will pick it up and mm, 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 love, love, love this brush so much. This next brush is the big powder brush. Now, let's just take a moment at this powder and take a moment for this brush. Now, come on. This brush is so freaking soft and so compacted, and it's so big. Mm. I think it's like the same size as the um, Real Techniques powder brush, but it's so good. You know, I just apply my powder foundation on it and everything. I really love this brush for my powder, and sometimes I do use it to bronze because, you know, it's that good size and everything, and I really like it for bronzing and powder. Next, this brush I do not necessarily like. I have used it once and it's this brush. This is their stippling brush. It is so flimsy and I tried to use it for foundation and it's not compact enough. The foundation just disappears down into the bristles and it does not. It hurts your face, honestly. I don't, I wouldn't recommend this brush for foundation or anything. I would recommend the the BH Cosmetics 135 brush is, this is just my holy grail foundation brush. But other than this, this brush is, mm, it's just, I, I honestly have no opinion on it right now. It kind of makes me put down because I had such high hopes for this for a foundation brush. And let's just say it's not good. Next is the small powder brush. Now this brush I use to contour my forehead. I just, you know, apply that contour on and I'm ready to go. It's super soft, it's compacted, and it's dense, but you know, not too dense. I like it. Um, I have not really used it for powder, but other than that, it's good for contouring too on the cheekbones. And right here, I like it. It's really good, it's soft. Like all these, all these brushes in here are so soft. But other than that, it's good. I forgot to mention that this brush set does come with eight face brushes. All very good quality. And the ones I have gone over are the ones I've used and very, really, really like. Um, which are these. These ones right here. Uh, huh, let me get my... These ones right here. These are the most best face brushes I have probably ever got or used. Now I'm just going to hold up these brushes real quick. Not going to really say anything because I've not used them. It comes with a small, you know, highlighter brush. It's not, have not used it. It comes with a flat 
foundation brush. So this is actually really soft and compacted and dense for your foundation. I don't prefer really like these um, foundation brushes because they don't, they just don't go on as fast. And I believe it has more streaks. And this one is just a angled um, brush. I honestly don't know what it is. It's super compacted though. I will hold it up to show you. It is super compacted and I've not used it yet. Um, I will probably find some way to use it maybe to blend out my concealer other than that I've not used it but let's keep on moving on all right so it comes with 28 eye brushes now that is a lot of brushes also this brush set was 30 32 dollars for 36 brushes now that's a good deal um it I'm just gonna pull out my favorite brushes um that I like to use for my eyes and I'm gonna just you know pull out the ones that I like and then and have used and then leave the ones off to the side and show later uh, the ones I haven't used and or, and just show you what they are. Alrighty, so these are the ones I have used for my eyes. Um, mm, let's just get started on the first brush that I really love for my eyes. The first brush is the crease brush. Now this is so freaking fluffy and it's compact and it's so good for that crease. I just love it and it feels like angel just like angel hair and like kittens rubbing all over your eyelid I love this brush so much it blends out so beautifully it blends out the products and just love it so much I've used this spoolie this spoolie is really good honestly spoolie is just a spoolie but this spoolie is something special and then we have this brush right here now this brush is a different color from most of the brushes in here like it's like this velvet like he, the normal brushes are like a brownish velvet looking color and then this one is a brown more of like a brown color. It's this one um, I have used and I've used it to blend out the whole eyelid and also to I think blend out the under eye. Um, I really like it. I have not seen any fallout of any of these brushes. They're su this one's super fluffy for some reason. It's just so freaking fluffy. I love it. I recommend this brush set so much right now. Next we have this pencil brush. This pencil brush I have used to blend out the under eye. Um, it's super d dense and compacted, like most of these brushes are. But like I said, I'm not gonna go over every single brush in this, you know, set because it's there's just so many, and it's got crease brushes and it's just got no angled brushes that I used for my eyebrows and stuff and for concealers to fix up my eyebrows and to make them look more clean. Now, I just want to say, BH Cosmetics, why in the world would you give us a sponge brush on a stick? This brush is so useless. It's not even good. I don't like these brushes. And the rest of the brushes I have not used are these ones. These are more flat, rounded top brushes. And eyeliner brushes, which I don't really have. I don't have a gel eyeliner, so I've not had to use any of the gel or eyeliner brushes. But this is the rest of the brushes. Other than that, that is all this video is today. Um, other than that, that's all I have for today. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more future videos. And also, I will leave these brush sets down in the description box below the links also make sure to go follow me on my social media add me on snapchat follow me on twitter and follow me on instagram like i said make sure to give this video a big thumbs up like and subscribe you know gotta do that mm -hmm. if you haven't already because if you're not subscribed then what are you doing on my channel mm -hmm. now make sure to also like too because if you want more future videos and if you want a tutorial with these brushes and how I use them. Bye.